Hey guys, me Williams here from PDAC. I'm here in Loughborough. And we're gonna go talk to Harry AA for a little walk and talk. Let's get on, boss. Right. You good? Yeah, man, fine, thank you. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. That's I'm here. I'm good. living. It's a nice sunny day. Literally. What more can you want? Literally. So you know what? what I mean? How's your season been? How has my season been? The season's been up and down. It's one of those ones that show me I've still got a lot to give. Mm. And it's one of those ones that show me that I've got to make some smarter choices and decisions okay. in how I go about some of my business. Okay. So, um, you know, I've run fast. I've run 10-11. I was selected for the World Relays. Well, mm. got bronze, but same time still made it to Doha for the RWS World Champs. That was something that, you know, to be a part of the team, that's my sixth world champs being a part of that, so I was excited for that. But now it's all about the push to Tokyo. Get ready for that, see what next year has to hold. So for the push for Tokyo, what sort of things are you going to change anything in the training or going to keep everything the same? Well, given the fact that last season was so late, we finished in October, you know, me and my coach got to sit down and we've got to plan how we're going to adjust given that the champs are so early. And Tokyo is going to be interesting because, you know, a lot of athletes are going to be dealing with the exact same issue. And uh, I think for myself, it's just about challenging my body. And I think I need to make things slightly more intense. I'm just going to give it my all. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to push boundaries. I'm going to push do, limits. It? Yeah. yeah so you I'm can going do. to take it to a next level, go super saying and just enjoy myself, man. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. man. So talk to me about New Balance and how you got paired with them. Yeah, yeah. man. The New Balance family. <laughs> 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 no, to be fair, New Balance, being a part of such a well-invested brand mm. that really, really cares about their athletes, that really, really uh, is forward thinking, yeah. if anything, in regards to how they can get the best out of their athletes, but also for their athletes, yeah. it's, it's incredible. The support I've gotten is second to none. And I'd say that it's always interesting. How do you get a sponsor? Yeah. How do you get involved with a brand? It's just performing well. If you can perform well, and if you can you know, have something, have a little bit about yourself. Don't be scared to show people your character. Don't be scared to show people other aspects and things about your lifestyle that you like to do. You're not just you an know. athlete. I'm not just an athlete, yeah, you know. I like yeah. to play chess. I'll play FIFA. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do all sorts of things. You know, I like to bake. Yeah. You know, these things are all interesting aspects that mm. people like to know about you. And if they're aware of these things, then, you know, you'll, you'll find some familiarities with other people and that's where people want to support you because they don't only want to help you be a better athlete, they want to help you be a better person. Literally. So, I know you obviously won the 100 and you do a little bit of relay as well. Yeah. So, what differs then? The relay. The relay, relay, relay. Do you know what it is? Everyone loves a relay. Literally. The end of the championships, <laughs> People go crazy for it. Some people like us to do well, some people don't. Yeah. Um, the relay is different in the sense that for once, you know, all the athletes that, you know, spend the majority of the year competing against each other, yeah. as you all know, you have to come together. And you've got to work as a team. and You've got to put your egos aside. Some people do, some people don't. Mm. You know, the atmosphere in the British team at the moment is, is amazing. We've done so well in regards to putting ourselves in medal contention for every championship. Um, I mean, I got to anchor the team in Berlin at the European Championships and the Commonwealth Games yeah. just recently. Um, that was an amazing feeling. But again, like I said, it's very rare that in athletics, even though I love the fact that what you put on the track, you get out, is actually rare that you get to celebrate with others. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you can argue that it's, it's more enjoyable when you celebrate with others because the team effort and that doesn't mean that when you win individual medals you don't celebrate with others because mm. you do you celebrate with your team but in that moment in time when you're doing your lap of honor with some guys that you've just been you know chilling with playing fifa with doing you know laughing joking similar backgrounds it's amazing it's an amazing yeah. feel and people can't take that away from you so you know from that perspective the relay's different but it's still the same you touched on the atmosphere of the great Britain team do you think that is part of the success yeah, it comes hand in hand. Obviously, mm. with success comes a great atmosphere. When you're doing well, you smile, yeah. right? There's no such thing as a sad athlete, yeah. you know, when you're winning. So from that perspective, it's something that you can enjoy. Um, and when the atmosphere is more right, mm. um, what tends to happen is everyone's just, just happier. And from that, the medals are helping. The medals are doing a lot for everyone. And, you know, when you achieve and you know that you can get more, what happens, you then strive for more. Okay. So, you know, right now we're going into an Olympic, Olympic cycle, Olympic year, yeah. where we're thinking about meddling and even getting that gold, you know? Yeah. You're in 
off season right now. Yep. When is training starting for you? So, training, I'll probably have the next four weeks off. Okay. Make sure that my body's, you know, fully, fully calmed down from what's been a long season. Yeah. Probably into those four weeks off, I probably won't be able to help myself. I'll do some form of exercise, yeah. whether it be some form of cross training. Yeah. I enjoy playing football. If I'm on holiday somewhere, I might play some beach volleyball. Why not? You know, but um, yeah. you do what you can. But once I start training, that's that's it. I won't be able to have any other aspects added yeah. to my lifestyle. Yeah. So just locking in from there. But okay. there's four weeks off really is just to bring the tone down in the muscles and just mentally relax as yeah. well. OK, so what does a typical training week look like to you then? Well, once we pick things back up, obviously, as you know, uh, you go through different phases. So yeah. I'll be entering winter. Winter training is uh, the part that everyone hates. I'm asthmatic, yeah. so my asthma pump's always in hand. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> but that's when we have longer reps. The days are long, but from that perspective, you tend to run maybe three to four times a week. And you're probably in the gym twice a week for myself. And then, you know, the way that we train, we still like to keep a technical aspect involved. So mm -hmm. I'll still be doing acceleration. Yeah. I'll still be working on my, you know, acceleration pattern and stride pattern and things like that, as well as trying to get the volume in, as we like to call yeah. it. Gym or track, what do you prefer? Do you know what? I prefer track workouts. Okay. I'm all about speed. I'm all about starting with people. I'm always about racing people. I like that sort of aspect of my training. Yeah. But gym is a massive, massive part of, you know, most people. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've yeah. been like this for a long time. You know, it's they call me the muscle man, man crazy, but man. you know, it is what it is. But yeah. at the same time, I think when you think about gym, I'm in the gym, what, twice a week. Um, it's all about the Olympic lifts, yeah. your power cleans, you know, even your front squats. Uh, you trying to transition that power from the gym into the yeah. track and that's still something that I'm still working on okay, yeah. because I'm a very very explosive powerful athlete and there's still aspects that I think I'm still not utilizing on the track and I'm excited to make use of that even more so then I'm guessing that you're saying that gym is really important then if yeah you sprint off. it's so important as well because you've got to condition yourself mm. if you're not conditioned then what's gonna happen you get injured you get hurt the last few years I've had very little injuries I've had very you know little issues and that's mainly because I'm always conditioning my body for what I'm trying to achieve and you know when you think about it we're running up to you know you know for, for under 30 just under 30 miles per hour yeah. it's one of those things that you got to think about you're putting your body through so many stresses it needs to be ready and capable yeah. so um, you know if you can look after your body and condition it to the point where you know that you're going to excel can't go wrong, can't go wrong with that. yeah man thanks Harry no oh, man. cool man and it's uh gonna be a tough year but yeah. for me and you both man i know yeah, you've got some work to do as well ah, so yeah, just gotta get at it hope you have a good Let's, 2020 um, yeah man i'll see you when i see yeah. you man. i'll see you around oh,